welcome back to another episode of Multi-Block Madness, where today we're in the Between Lands. Uh, mostly because I didn't want to make a bunch of Thormium, because it's a little bit annoying to make, you got to muck around with Essence and stuff. Oh, it's a thunderstorm in the Between Lands, that's interesting. Um, but we can also use, uh, what's this called? Psy Sermorite, or Sermorite. Um, to make the thing that we're trying to make with Thormium, which is... Don't have a bookmarked. Heavy engineering block requires either Thormium gears or Sur... Sermorite gears. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with Sermorite. Should be cool. Um, and I know I said I wasn't gonna play around with the between lanes too much because the mod was getting removed, but... But the mod dev did clarify. He's leaving the configs in so you can easily add the between lanes back in. Like all the recipe changes will still be there, so... I've got an idea of something I want to build. Um, once we get into nuclear craft, I think it would be kind of cold to have our nuclear reactors in the between lands. I think it would be kind of cool. Um, just something I thought of doing. Um, yeah, I think it would be interesting. Very, very different mods. Uh, and yeah, we'll probably... The lighting might be an issue. Um, might even turn radiation back on as well. Yeah, I think it'll... It could look cool. It could look cool. It might not work. <laughs> we'll see. We can always move the reactors. Might get a little bit laggy having uh, a whole bunch of tech stuff in the between lands. Uh, because, like, everything in this dimension is custom, so... it's a lot of models and stuff to load. But we'll see how it goes. But I'm just going to keep digging up a bit more Simorite, and then we'll uh, head back and start crafting up some heavy engineering blocks and that should be the last component we need uh, just put out a bunch of gears and plates and stuff um, using the smeltery and tone bottle very handy but I think we can get uh, two lots of this stuff right um, I'm going to need my blood orb which did I leave that in the table I might have left that over here I saw him. He's hiding in there. Cool. And I don't know why the recipes do that. There we go. Six heavy engineering components. And looking at uh, looking at the rewards of blueprint we can get, which to be honest, I've kind of just been assembling them by hand, even though I had these. Um, the excavator, the metal press, a refinery, an auto workbench, arc furnace, and pump jack. We probably want to get the one that we're going to make the most, or want to move the most, and that might be the excavator. So we'll grab that. We're also starting to run into storage issues as well. I just had to go and unclog some chests, so it's not until next the next lot of quests that we actually get into Applied Energistics. And I think that's when we're going to start working on our main base, which I guess is going to be this dude. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do for a main base yet. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so it looks like we need the metal press because it's got that icon. Um, and that would also be handy. Um, for making plates and gears without having to rely on the smeltery. So we might whip up the bits and pieces for this. Nothing, nothing amazing here. I think we've made all of this stuff except conveyor belts, but... Just leather, iron and redstone. Pretty simple. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, looks like we want the mob agonizer. I don't think he makes anything in particular, but I guess it's just a efficient way of doing that stuff. Um, but to the pump jack. Use the core sample drill in various chunks to find a good location to build your pump jack. Yes. And a bit of steel, bit of steel, a couple of heavy engineering blocks. Yes, we're going to need a coarse sample drill. A couple of light engineering blocks, not too major. I don't know if we have the stuff for this. We're missing some steel scaffolding. There we go. Ah, we're still missing oh, steel fences. I must have had a whole bunch of steel stuff. Cool, so we got the coarse sample drill. Um, Ooh, it shows chunk borders. 
We are going to require power for this guy. We can grab these dudes. One of these dudes. Uh, we'll take you. We'll uh, keep all the butts because we'll probably want to hook that back up. Uh, but And then we can use uh, just energy conduits instead of mucking around with, with MV stuff. So if we were to chuck this in a chunk, and it would probably be really annoying if there's a good chunk here, but I guess we should check, right? So this dude, uh, and actually, if we plonk him there, uh, we're going to have to play around with this config with the hammer. Make him an output there. Now when we place him, I think he'll transfer straight into that guy. Yes. And then we just right click. And he doesn't use heaps of power. And we've got a core sample. So there's platinum here, but no fluid reservoir. Unlimited yield. That's cool. That must be a config change. So there is unlimited platinum <laughs> in this chunk. And oh, it's going to get messy if we start <laughs> plonking these, but I don't really want to mine here. There's no reason we can't. Then I can come over to this chunk. And I guess we just keep going until we find somewhere that has oil. Um, it did say that the beneath was a good place to run pump jacks. So we've got lead vein. Unlimited again, cool. But uh actually it kind of looks like come here. Oh lead vein. Uh you can see uh, like in the picture that's kind of like some silver and that's some gallium. Is that what it's called? And you can see here this is platinum, but there's also nickel in these in these veins. So yeah, I'll just uh carry this dude around. Um and we'll find we'll find a chunk with oil in it somewhere. We might even set it up in the beneath. Could be a nice place to do it. Although it would be kind of cool to have it in the overworld as well. And oh, I don't know why that looks like that. Oh, why didn't you work? Oh, you're like directional that way. Okay. Aha, here we go. So we found a rare earth vein. And there's also 12 million millibuckets of crude oil. So 12,000 buckets of oil. Looks like oil's not unlimited. And rare earth is like diamond. And maybe just diamond. I thought maybe emeralds as well. But it doesn't look like it's in the picture. But sweet. So we want to build a pump jack here. Cool. So for making the pump jack... Roots and engineering block, light engineering block, block of steel, sweet. And we might actually be able to get into some oil power generation. I guess it's probably the next thing. When do we get into nuclear craft? Is that coming up? Nuclear craft. Rock crusher. It doesn't really look like nuclear reactor stuff there though, does it? Uh, is that in the next quest? Oh, nuclear engineering. Oh, there we go. So some advanced rocketry stuff. Interesting nuclear craft. We need bam ingots. Reactor building. Cool. I wonder if this gives you like a template one. Oh, I'm really looking forward. So it looks like bam ingots is when we need to. <laughs> it's when we can start thinking about getting a reactor running. Um, cool. All right. I'll get the bits and pieces for this pump jack. And quest complete the pump jack. Uh, let's assemble... So oil processing pump jack, cool, and then we need the projector, do I still have it in here? I might have put them away. Projector, one of these, then, boom. Well, assemble a projector, and we got an MV capacitor as a reward too, which is kind of nice. Um, I'll probably just run power across to them. I don't know if this is going to keep up with the pump jack. Pump jacks can be pretty uh, pretty intense on power, I think, from memory. So this is the chunk border, right? So we 
build him anywhere in here. Can we have him in our offhand? We can. Just so we know, um, I guess we'll just mark the corners. Ah, but I'll probably just build them like right here, I guess. Um, and I guess we'll keep that there as well, so we know. So we know that uh, there's also diamonds down here. Right. Uh, whoops. Which way do we want them to face? So I believe the pipe bits you can see, which are those silvery bits, are the outputs. I reckon right about like there, right? Nope. Oh no, I just right clicked there. Um, something like that, and then I think it was like this. Is that right? And then if we find the right spot. Yes, perfect. Hey, and power's right here, that's handy. Let's see if we can get this guy running. Relay, connect, Ooh, you can have just enough MV coil. I have to reset up my, uh... oh, I got rid of all the crops that were over there. So we didn't use them for a while, but I might have to set them back up. And then goes there. How does this look? It looks okay. So you can see it's not saying there's any power stored here, and that's because he's drawing as much as he can. Wait, there's also no... Oh, do we have to turn this guy on with a redstone signal? What's happening with our power? Draining. Draining a lot, but how come we're not actually getting oil? It's saying these tanks are empty. But I think if we chuck this guy, just place him directly on the side, is he going to fill with oil? Yes, he is. Cool. Um, if we get a lever, we want to be able to turn him off. And that turns him off. Oh, he's trying power now. Weird. Yeah, we'll just let him run and f I guess fill this up with crude oil. Ha, huh, that looks kind of cool. These are really cool tanks. And we just got the quest for the distillation tower. Um, just assembling more of the same components we've already made. And we pipe crude oil inside as the first processing step. And oh, we can see this guy's struggling. So I'm picking, he has now drained all of our capacitors. Yep. <laughs> so I think we'll turn him off. Oh, he's almost filled this bucket though. He's almost got all 48. Um, we'll leave him running while this happens. And then I guess we assemble the distillation tower. Um, which also uses power, so that's going to be an issue. But distillation tower. These things look cool. I guess we'll plonk him there, so just a bunch more assembling one of these dudes. He's getting pretty tall now, which is cool. I, might, oh, I was going to say we might be getting close, but um, and then I saw how many iron sheet metal I still have in my inventory, and I know... Oh, I know that I had just enough of everything. This is actually going to be such a cool addition to the base. Like we're, we're going to be able to see it from uh, probably all of our base. Oh, and that's it. Oh, I had extra some stuff. Perfect. Uh, cool. If we pop down. And actually we can, oh, cool, grab a hammer, and somewhere we right click this. There. Redstone control inverted, uh, not inverted. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Now, we've got an 
uh, oranges output. Oh, which means that's the input, which is on the wrong side. Oh no, that's an input there. Wait, what's that for then? Oh, you get like some byproducts. That's right. Um, we've actually set this up not bad. That's full, so we can turn you off. Let have power build back up. Um, can we just plonk this here? No, we'd have to pipe it somehow. Or we can just run a pipe directly into the sky. But let's try using immersive engineering's pipes. They're a little bit funny sometimes. Um, and you like can't see what's in them. And you know, that's not transferring anything. Although I don't know if these tanks auto output. So we need like a fluid conduit. Which I know we had a quest to make ages ago. Ooh. Ah, oh, Tinker's Clear Glass. Yeah, we got we got some. Nice. Uh can I actually see what I'm doing? There you go, extract. Always active. Nice. Guy says he's not filling up. Oh, we can right click on him and we can see how much is going in there. So he actually takes two full tanks, which is pretty sweet. Um, and this guy should be on. We're making gasoline, diesel, and lubricant. Cool. Oh, and we get bitumen, which. It's used for making asphalt, which I actually really like asphalt. Um, oh, I think we just figured out <laughs> why we needed to make this. This is how we're going to make that. Now, hop graphite, how do we make that? Hop graphite dust. Coke dust. Oh, nice. Okay, that's not bad. Make sure I get some uh, stuff going. But now, yeah, this guy's now full. Now, these things are a pain to pipe stuff out of. Um, if you use immersive engineering pipes, because they'll constantly get gummed up with, um, like the the pipe will be coming out, like uh, these pipes, and you won't know what it's got in it, and it might have like one millibucket of gasoline and that'll stop any diesel coming out so we probably don't want to use immersive engineering pipes for that but even then it can be a, a bit of a pain to even get stuff out so we kind of want hmm just whipped up um, a bunch of radiant tanks and some upgrades for them as well um, we're going to try and see if we can't nicely extract fluids from the sky now we might be able to just plonk this dude here. And yes, he's filling up with lubricant. And oh, I was going to make a chest. A chest for getting this stuff. Oh, because that seems like a good idea. So he's going to fill up, and he's filled up with lubricant. So you'll see we've got diesel and gasoline. He hasn't actually finished processing, so this would jam him up. But what I'm hoping we can do, we can't filter with this guy, but, hmm, if this line was connected and we had something like this, I'm hoping this would stop it from getting jammed up. And then we upgrade these tanks with this dude. Yeah, so now he holds how many? 96 buckets, so 24 buckets. Yeah, we'll be able to hold a few goes through. I didn't want to do that. I just want to modify these dudes. 
So this guy should hopefully act like a buffer tank. We shouldn't run into the problem where the pipe gets jammed up with stuff unless the tank is full. Um, we actually are going to want to disconnect. Disconnect these guys. Oh, and we're running out of power. Are you full? You're full. You can go off. Um, we want to disconnect these guys. I just don't want a little bit of lubricant to go into each of them or they're that would break them. Let's move them, because I think that might happen. So if we do like one at a time and we say, and actually maybe this will work better as like a line. So if we say you don't insert, you don't insert. And we'll just manually turn them on for a start. And we say, you don't insert, but you extract and you now. Extract now. So the pipe's full. It's actually kind of slow. It's actually very slow. See, this would have done the thing where it would have put a little bit into each tank. But once we, oh, that's now diesel in there, cool. So this now, this might be diesel in here now. Yes, it might be an issue. I think it's going to be an issue. See, they haven't automatically connected. He's now eating diesel. This guy's now filled. He's got some lubricant and some gasoline. So he runs out of diesel. Now he's filling with gasoline. Now, do these pipes actually have stuff in them? That might be gasoline. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Cool, so that's gasoline. Maybe that's a better way to do it, and then we just pipe. We're going to need filtered pipes at some point. So you're filling with gasoline, you'll fill this guy. And we should be producing producing bitumen while we're doing that. Just want to get through like one full thing. So now that's diesel, so we have to wait for the lubricant to come out. But it's not, because the pipes have something else in it. Oh no, now it's working. And now he's filling with diesel. Oh, that did work. But diesel's not going into the bucket because lubricant is still on the pipes. Lubricant's finished. Diesel starts. Okay, this is going to work. And then I guess we just swap out these tanks. It's going to be an issue when... This, when one of these gets filled. I mean, if we're careful, this will be okay. So from one, or from, yeah, one full crude oil bucket thing, tank, which is 48 buckets, we got 24 buckets of gasoline, 17 buckets of diesel, and 5 buckets of lubricant. That's awesome. Oh, we get a crude oil bucket. <laughs> 200. Oh, a turbine generator. Maybe we can make one of them. So yeah, we've got ourselves a distillation tower. We're digging up oil. We've we found minerals underground as well, which is kind of cool. And uh, we'll come back next time. And I think I think we might be making the arc furnace. It should be pretty cool. All right, guys. It's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching the episode. We'll come back next time and build that arc furnace. Well, maybe. Unless it's something like horrendous in the recipe. We'll find out.